Good morning, everyone. I am Steve Matty, the chair of the Standards and Ethics Committee. We're joined by my colleagues, Karen Kozlowitz and Margaret Chin, and our committee counsel, Serena Longley. Um, the Committee of Standards and Ethics is meeting today regarding a pending disciplinary matter open pursuant to Section 10.80 of the Council Rules concerning Council Member Andy King. We are also meeting to address additional and unrelated committee business. Because it is necessary for the committee to discuss confidential personnel issues, I am making motion for the committee to move into executive session pursuant to Article 7 of the Public Officers Law. Do I have a second? I second. have a second from Karen Kozowitz um, that we uh, move into executive session. All those in favor say aye. 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 Noting that the ayes have it, I am going to close this portion of the meeting and reopen an executive session. Before we proceed into executive session, I will note for the public that the committee may vote on certain items of business during the session, and as a result, there may be additional open session of the committee later today. Okay, good morning again. Uh, thank you for your patience. Um, thank you, I'm Steve Matty, Chair of the Committee on Standards and Ethics, joined by Karen Kozowitz and Margaret Chin, and Serena Longley, our Committee Counsel. The Committee is now returning to open session to make public the outcome of today's votes. As laid out in our public statement of August 21st, after a wide-ranging investigation conducted by both the Council's Office of the General Counsel and the Special Counsel retained by the Committee to prosecute this disciplinary proceeding, the Committee voted to issue four charges against Councilmember King. These charges related to alleged retaliation, disorderly conduct, conflict of interest violations, and harassment. Since this committee's last meeting, which took place on August 21st, it has come to attention that Councilmember King has engaged in additional retaliatory behavior against staff members and additional conflict of interest violations. Upon learning of this retaliatory conduct, as well as apparent additional conflict of interest violations, the, of, the Office of the General Counsel, in conjunction with the Special Counsel, immediately investigated and un un uncovered corroborating evidence. Based upon this evidence, this committee has voted today to issue additional and superseding charges related to this retaliatory behavior. Pursuant to the rules of the Council, this committee will now hold a disciplinary hearing on the charges issued on August 21st, as well as these superseding charges. At this time, the, the, the disciplinary hearing is scheduled to begin on September 13th at 10 a.m. Please note, however, that the date and time of the proceeding may be rescheduled at the discretion of the chair of the committee. The hearing will be held in executive session, and Councilmember King has a right to be represented by counsel at the hearing. The council has hired Carrie Cohen to serve as special counsel and present the case against Councilmember King to the committee. While the proceedings are confidential, after the committee deliberates on the charges, the findings and recommendations of the committee will be made public. In addition to these superseding charges against Councilmember King, the committee voted today on a pending matter pertaining to Councilmember Barry Grodenchik. On February 12, 2019, this committee voted to open a matter into allegations that Councilmember Grodenchik had violated the council's policy against harassment and discrimination. After a full investigation and the substantiation of these allegations, this committee negotiated a settlement agreement with Councilmember Grudenchik. This agreement, as well as a related public statement by the Councilmember before the committee, took place on May 14, 2019. Now, this committee has been informed that the Councilmember has successfully completed the remaining term of his settlement agreement, a specialized multi-session training on preventing sexual harassment. This training was personally paid for by the Councilmember. Based upon this development, the, count, the committee is satisfied that the council member has fully complied with and completed the terms of his settlement agreement, and we voted today to formally close his pending matter. This concludes our summary of the committee's votes during today's meeting, and I'm going to adjourn the meeting. Thank you. <laughs>